loud. So welcome to Foundations Friday, January 14th, 2022. Here we go. Uh, so we're going to kind of shotgun on several different things today. And um, so the first one is, is that um, we've got a, um, we, we need to get the, the, your magnets for your cars going. So if you can, uh, if you can give me name, how you want it to be on your magnet, phone number you want on there and your license number, that way we make sure we get that correctly. And Julie, I'll give this to you and redo it because I didn't get your phone number that you want on there. So uh, do that. And then those of you online, you can uh, text me which, what you want in terms of how you want your name to be, your phone number and your uh, license number. Excuse me, so we can get that started. So, um, so I'm gonna share my screen here and we're gonna jump into, can you guys, can you guys see uh, Nala in the background there? Yes. No. Yes. You guys, you guys see my uh, my 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 Weikert dashboard now. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So um, a few things. So, and we talked about this in the past, and I, I was going through uh, last night again. Understand that I've got uh, admin control, so I can go through and and check everything and see what's going on. So I went through and saw some good things that were in there, and there were some things that were. Uh, concerning and then we'll start to go through and, and make sure that everybody gets things up to speed. Um, so um, let me pull up um, bikerhh.com, oops. And so we can go from there. So under uh, our agents here, we, we, we went through and I kind of made it consistent, almost got all of them done here, is we put it so your name and your real, that your role realtor and then um, your license number are in the, that top part. So it's really important if this stuff down here, if you haven't taken care of that on your um, on, under your settings and your profile, that this stuff will need to be corrected here. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna play on some of this here. Um, but as you can see from here, um, because of the switch to the new format, Barb's picture is pretty fuzzy, so she needs a new picture. Ali and Brianna's are good there. Um, Carla's, Carla's, Cheryl's, um, uh, Dave's needs to be undone if he's or improved if he's, if he's going to start uh, doing real estate again here. Emails needs to be redone. So when we switch to that, it, the, the quality needed to uh, improve greatly. Um, so go through and you, you can go on your own website or you can go on uh, your own website, you'll be able to see and your profile picture if it's good or not. And if it's not, then you need to uh, uh, upload a, a better one in there so it does that. And then check these other things down here. Uh, if you go to weikerthh.com and see what the, the things are that are showing here. Uh, so we're, we're gonna talk about the uh, social media uh, things also in a little bit here. Um, for some reason, and I fixed this for Oscar, he had uh, speaks and it was like English, 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 and then Spanish, 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 Spanish. So it's like, like repeated like six times. So we cleaned that up for him, but go through in there. Um, if you don't have speaks English, I would say go ahead and put that in there. Uh, Veronica, you've got that in there. Um, Nashi doesn't have any, you know, speaks. It just is helpful to people going through um, to see what, you know, if you speak another language or, you know, you speak English. I just barely speak English, so I, I get that. Um, so the other thing is um, what you should do, and I wanted to go to a couple examples here. And I, and I changed, I fixed mine last night. Um, so uh, let me go to, where's she at? Where's she at, where's she at, where's she? So uh, Monica, um, if I click on her picture, so it takes me to her bio. So here's what I wanna emphasize. What you should do is you should have this, this first part in, rather than I believe that your home is a sanctuary, it should say, Monica Coffee believes. Your name should be in that first sentence there because that's what, when there's a, um, when, it, when people are looking at me on the internet, that first sentence is kind of all that shows on there. So if you have your name in there, then it, it highlights your name. Also, if they do a search of I have that, that, that agent's name, her name is Monica, I think, and they type in Monica. If your name is in that top part, it'll help to pull your name up quicker. So you should, you should fix it so that your name is in the very beginning there. And I did that with mine. Um, 
I'll show you on mine here. Um, yeah, can you show us how we can do it, please? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go over that in a couple of seconds. So here, here's mine. I fixed that last night because, um, so I switched by, I said, I, I mine you said I am blessed to be, but I changed it to Dave Hansen is blessed to be surrounded by uh, family. Um, my family includes four, yeah, and I had to update that because I had 12 grandchildren and it's actually 13 now. So I got to update mine like every 12 minutes because we keep adding grandkids in. Um, but it's really important. My bio is probably a little bit long, but I didn't get a chance to, to uh, adjust it yesterday. Um, so you're going to want to, uh, I would say, put that in and I'll show you in a little bit how to, how to do that. Um, it helps you to pop up and searches quicker and, and that. So, um, so let me show you, um, let me go to uh, KV Core, how you can adjust that. A lot of stuff can be adjusted here. So under um, uh, the top right here on your KV Core, if you click here and go to my profile, and then um, you're in here, your bio is down here about me. So you'll hit the edit profile here. Then you can make any changes that you've put in your bio here. Um, and again, you can change the fonts, you can change the look, you can bold and highlight things. So you can do some things so it stands out and, and, and reads there. Your signature is down here. Remember, any changes you make, make sure you hit save, otherwise they're not saved. So don't go do your changes and hit cancel because then you'll be uh, crying because you just made all those changes. Can you change the whole thing? Talk in the third no, I would just just the first line. I talk in the third person, and then I left my rest there. The reason is is because when they do a search, you know, your name pops up first, or they're going through, they see a bio, your name is there, and then go 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 first person in the rest. Otherwise, it just looks funky. I think this is just help with uh, with search engine stuff and help with if you if you pop up there then they can see your name right away on that so you want that first line to have your name in there so and, and start off there so that was uh i think it was uh um eisenhower that was talking about that at, at the conference i believe uh but somebody was that your your bio should be in there or it may be um um uh, who's his face with there so you'll want to you'll want to do that there but any changes you make in here make sure you hit save on there um we talked about the picture the picture quality you, you need to check on that make sure that's uh good on yours if not get a new one in there um um so also your social media icons so let me switch over to here so some don't have any social media icons. Some have some in there. Um, probably one of the, 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 the best example is, and I'll pull it up here, of having it pointed right and done right is uh, Miss uh, Social Media, Linda. So if I, if I hit on her, and what I did is I went through last night and I hit on everybody. So I'm gonna highlight a couple of things here. So if I hit on her Facebook, um, let me get this out of the way. I need to drop this down so I can adjust it. There's Linda's. Linda sells real estate. Um, yeah, the only thing is this is a little bit fuzzy in the background. So I don't know, Linda, if there's a way that you can clean that up a little bit, but uh, that's not that, it's not that terrible. Um, so there's her Facebook. Her, here's her Twitter. Um, so her Twitter is in place so she can tweet. Um, this is her, uh, Instagram and there's different pictures there now, and I am, please don't go look at mine because I am the worst. I don't, I've not updated as I should. So I need to get going on that. So if you're going to have, if you're going to post your, your social media things, if you're posting them up there, you should be doing updating on those on a regular basis. Otherwise, if the last thing you posted was six months ago, they're gonna move on from there. Um, and you need to do things to improve your, your reach. This is her Pinterest. Um, and I will say this right now that I am a Pinterester. I love Pinterest. Soon I'll be someplace, well, we're gonna have for dinner. So I'll go on Pinterest and I'll you know look up different, you know, different types of dinners to have and a pop up recipe and then i'm going through doing my shopping and i'm making dinner up so i love pinterest okay. so i do too but it's like personal stuff why would i put that into my business so linda why are you doing pinterest on business 
Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda. Sorry, I had another call. Okay, so why why are you why are you on why do you have Pinterest on there? What's your think reasoning and thinking with Pinterest? Um, I have Pinterest on there because I I will post like about the like home care tips, um, and then I also want people to know that you know obviously I'm not not just uh it's i'm not just about real estate i do have a family that um you know like i have to cook healthy meals for and i have a toddler and we're trying to potty train and her birthday's coming up so i have other stuff on there that makes me more relatable so that when i do talk to clients you know we can talk a little bit more than just how the housing market is and like oh yeah did you um you know i've had people actually reach out to me and say Oh, I checked out your Pinterest. That's cool that you have it connected to your, you know, um, email. Um, and I tried that recipe. Like, so it, it just gives me another way to connect with um, my clients. Conversation started. Yep, very good. Well, that explain how to potty train in three days. So um, it doesn't work. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's the, her Pinterest. I'm still uh, working with Daniel. It's not working. This way, here's her LinkedIn. And so, so a good example of, of uh, different things in there. Um, let's see. Okay, now I want to do this and I'm going to surprise her. So Julie, she just has Facebook here, but I thought that Julie had a good mix of things. Um, so this is, um, you know, improve the look of a shade filled garden, um, home fix it tip thing. Um, what do you think of my new website? Uh, we'll open the door so she's got that there. Um, then I like this. She's got she's got comics interspersed in there, and I'll show you in a couple of seconds though. Um, and I can I relate to this one. Um, and so then you know helpful things: headboard matches, surrounding accents, Julie Gordon Realtor, Saint Gen Gen Genevieve's uh, school um, on there. Uh, de uh, design elements. Um, happy New Year. Oops. Stop. Okay. Come on. I didn't do this last night to me. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, let me come back to it again. Because I wonder, she, she's, she's got, oh. Okay, let me log in. Let me log in. Okay. Um, but she's got far side cartoons in there, which I think is great. So she's got a, a, an interspersion of comics, humor, practical things in there. So I thought it was a really good example of things that are in there um, and some personal greetings. So it was a good mix in there that Julie's got going, which I thought was really good. And uh, current, you can see uh, the timeline that she's been doing that. So then the, then the thing comes is, is always continue to try to grow your people that are that are friends or, or like your uh, business page. So the more that like that, you got to do that fairly regularly, then you post something that it goes to their feed and they see you. So if, if you just put it up there and you're not doing things to improve its reach, then it's it's not as effective. So, uh, but I thought those were good some good examples of those. And again, um, so, uh, so a few of them, and I think I've got it on here. Um, let's see. So let me go to Carla Liebert. She's in the room, and so I can pick on her. There you are. So the LinkedIn doesn't go anywhere. Wow. So. Okay. And I did whatever I wanted to do to blend it or whatever. Okay. So, uh, um, huh. yeah. So, what I'm doing, is say, what I say is go check it, make sure it's doing it, have somebody else, you know, go on your site and see if they can get into it. So, um, just be checking those things because sometimes things change and you're not in. So, I went through and checked everybody's and I made a list of Maggie's. Uh, let me go to Maggie. And again, I'm picking everybody else and my stuff is not where it should be. So Maggie, her Facebook, clicked on there and page not found. 
So you've got you've got something you've got either you didn't input it right in into your profile or something. So go through and check if it's not if it's not pointing someplace and they click on those things you're putting them on your emails or you're putting on your website or that and they're clicking it, it's not going anywhere then it's better to not have it on there than to have it not point somewhere where do you sorry i missed it where do you find it on um is it an end like what is it where do you find it on your web like so i look to see if I it's it's if you've got it so if, if you go to your a while ago, so, I don't so the best thing to do is go to your profile okay oops i want to do agents Profile, okay. And then let me get on yours also, Carla. And profile, so you have, what do you have down there? LinkedIn, you've got Carla dash, Liebert dash. So yeah, so I, I, would, I would, so something is, something is off there in that so i would go through back to your your get onto your instagram and then pull the link thing and then re-put it in there and see if that fixes it can you get on my facebook um yeah let me yeah it, it, it was good it was good okay. yeah because let me let me pull because yeah because all, all what i did is i wrote down to where which links were not functioning properly when i tested them where are you at there you are uh if i go to your facebook yeah, that pops over properly. Okay. So all I what I did is I made a list of ones that weren't working properly. And I'm going to contact everybody and say, hey, you know, you'll you'll want to work on this. Okay. okay. Um so um so is to set up your social media links. Um first set up the page, your business page, and then get that link there. And then for Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube um twitter those are the six i think we have available to us so i don't care if you're doing one or all six or none but let's just make sure if you're doing any of them that the links work properly and make sure that you're putting things up regularly consistent i would stay away from politics i would stay away from you know any of those sort of things do it the things that are are real estate related interest related encouragement related those sort of things because um here's the thing we all have opinions we all have strong opinions and that's great and that's wonderful and i'm all for people having opinions i love to debate and talk to people and that the problem is is that uh, not everybody can understand that it's okay to have opinions and okay for people to have different opinions and that's how life's supposed to be and that's not the so if you want to have a, a conversation with somebody outside of social media and those sort of things knock yourself out but if you're posting it there and then so so i'm very careful with what i do because what i do impacts you guys and but the tr uh, reverse is true also what you guys are doing is impacting the rest of us too so we've got to be conscious aware of that and be really wise in our posting of things um social media wise and i'm not saying you can't have opinions i'm not saying it's just the culture we're in right now everybody gets all upset and and i read stuff all the time of different opinions in me i i like reading that. i like discussing and debating with that that's that's great but i'm also very careful on on things that I comment on and what I what I'm dealing with there, because if it's taken out of context or it's not misunderstood or that, then then it, it comes a negative thing. And so I've got to be very careful as broker, particularly and one of the owners of that I'm posting things out there. I, I don't I don't post my you know it, it, pictures of me in my uh, speedo. You know I just you know. <laughs> Whew, you do not want to see this in a speedo to quote um, Tim Allen in Toy Story or in uh, in uh, Santa Claus. Um, so um, uh, get the link, then go to your settings in your profile and you you do that in there again, uh, the KV core, you, you adjust it in here. And again, if you don't have something, that's fine. But if you do do it, make sure the link works, make sure you're putting good content in there, consistent content in there um and uh and have that 
have those set up there. Um, it's better to have nothing than to have something and then it's just not done well. Um, your signature, make sure you, you guys, most of you, I think I have a signature in there. Um, and remember, as Carla says, that kindness is free, sprinkle that stuff everywhere. So, <laughs> so um, where I'm seeing that, that not a lot of stuff is done is down in here in these areas of credentials, background, education, experience, achievements, or community involvement. Um, college dropout. The college dropout, okay. <laughs> That's right. What I, what I would do is I would something along the lines of that uh, real life has been, you know, a great educational experience for me. And I've picked up, you know, that has helped hone my skills for real estate by going through highs and lows and positives and negatives. You can just put something like that, but, or, or you don't have to put something in there, but yeah. what you, what you should do is maybe community involvement. There should be some things in there because that's what people enjoy seeing your involvement in the community, how you're out there doing things. Um, your background, your credentials are any of your licensing things, edit extra things that you've done um, that you can put in there. Um, so achievements. Um, so again, I'd rather have you put good stuff in there or nothing, you know, just to throw some, I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing that out there as, as an example. So achievements achievement, achievement, that'd be credentials achievements doesn't have to be yeah. achievement is yeah. just things you've achieved in life so for you you work work you know you work started out as uh, a uh, yeah well That's huge. yeah and then well you and then you moved up to a director database administrator yeah so i mean but that's not real estate doesn't matter you 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 you're you're, you're showing you're showing you're showing your ability in all areas of life right. you're showing your competence your achievement things you've done you know things that you're proud of that you've accomplished in your life that's what it is yeah so these don't all have to be real estate related they can be other area related as well okay um okay thanks ellie um so again what I'm saying is just go back through and look at your profile, look at your settings, see what you have in there. And uh, you want to do this on a regular basis. So you're seeing things. Um, and I, I desperately need to improve my, uh... now, well, one of the things that's on your, on the, um, the weekly thing is um, your success board is dealing with your raving fans. So one thing that it could, it could we, we, you guys are all aware of the daily call creation or call task list. Okay, it pops up a lot of people every day that, that I don't have contact information for them because they were um, looking for people that are renters so that I can mail out to renters, people maybe, you know, hopefully wind it by. Um, and and that's, a good, that's a good market of people to be looking for, people who are renting. Um, the clients I'm working for up in, uh, Fairfield Vacaville area, they they're they're a young couple. They're renting an apartment, and they're jumping to their first home, and they're in the six hundred thousand dollar range. I got a eighty four lead from my really bad email, <laughs> and then one of them. I've got a lot of them, but one of them happened to be a renter that I went and I met yesterday in the Fairfield area. Oh, and, yeah. and I couldn't say it was a terrible area. And oh my god, it was hot all over, and oh, it was a terrible thing. But anyway, why can't you say it's a terrible area? Well, because you can't tell them that it's a terrible area. Why not? Because that's redlining and steering. You're not supposed to tell them it's a terrible area. You can't. Okay, so I can tell them that. I can tell them that they don't deliver pizzas there. <laughs> so, 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 if somebody says to you, what do you think of this area? What do you tell them? You give them a report because you're not supposed to redline or steer. That's right in all our books. You're not supposed but to. But that, that doesn't that apply the other way around? If you're a seller, you don't your red line if you well that's different if you're a seller right but if you're a buyer here, here. you get if you don't live in the area like these people i'm working with now ask me how is this area 
They have no idea. So, 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 here, so, so here, here, here's, here's my response. Here's what I tell my people. I will tell you if it's an area that I would be comfortable with my own kids living in. Yeah. Well, I'll give you an, I'll give you an and, and, and I'll say, I'm, I'd be comfortable with this area. And the other one say, I wouldn't be comfortable with my kids living here. I'll give you an example. Okay. I went to show a girl a house in the same area, which was over Sycamore, Pepper Tree over there. And she was a young girl. She barely was turning 21, all excited to buy her house, beautiful. And I got there and tried to park, and there was a guy standing in that went and seen me going to park there. And he went and stood in the parking lot like that, big old chains on yep. his V look, you know. And I looked at her and I said, Are you sure you want to look at this house? And she said, Yeah, of course. And we went in, we finally parked. We went in, it was all thrashed, written all over the wall. And it was really, you could tell it had been broken into like 10 times. She loved it. Right. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And she goes, Maggie, I can tell that you're very uncomfortable with this. And I said, well, you know, yeah. and she said, I grew up in Oakland. This is no big deal. And that was it. But right. She was offended because I wasn't, I wasn't comfortable being there. So I went through that one time and promised I'd not go through it. Okay. Uh, and again, yeah, I just tell, know, yeah, you know? I just tell people, I'll tell you whether I'd be comfortable with my kids living in this area or not. And it's your decision what you do, but you know, right. Well, email advises the client too to go at a couple of different times. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I yep. do that too. Yeah. Yep. Come back after kids are out of school, come back, you know, around the yeah. clock. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's part of their investigations. Right. So, right. so under the daily call task creation thing, so it, it, if you set it up for, say, 10 people a day, Carla's got set up for, for uh, calls to create 10 o'clock at 9 a.m. Um, and not on the weekends, uh, uh, auto create call task each day. Yes. Okay. So that's what Carla's got set up for there. And she probably just ignores the emails that she gets every day saying, Hey, here's your list. And she probably goes, yeah, we'll just pull that aside. Cause, cause of the look in her face, it tells me that she's just ignoring those emails. So. <laughs> well, I don't have a lot of, most of my contacts in here have no phone numbers. Okay. From the way they were. So here's what you, here's where my emphasis is this year, and and you need to continue to work to build your raving fan list. People, friends, neighbors, coworkers, people know you, like you, and trust you, and continue to build that list up. Hopefully, it should be between fifty and one hundred and fifty. Probably no more than one hundred fifty because you can handle that. So you got to work towards who's in my who's in my phone list that I know that knows me, and start putting those people in here. Um, then what I would do is I would, let me go to edit here. So what I would do is probably take the, I was hoping you could do it by hashtag, but you can't, uh, actually you've got yours turned off now. So it's yours is turned off. That's why you're not getting oh, those. Okay. Yeah. So what I would do is I would probably, so a couple of the areas that are used are, uh, contract closed or archived. Since we're not really using this, we're following people through on all these steps and changing their statuses. I'm guessing most of you aren't. I don't do that. It's just, oh, do you? Okay, well, that's great. Um, but if you're not doing that, I would maybe, or maybe just use, use the tag uh, archived and then do your just, your, just your raving fans, do them as archived. And then you set up your call creation just on your raving fans. And if you've got, if you've got hundred people in your raving fan list, uh, that's, so you want to get through all of them, you're all hundred in two months. So every two months you're having some sort of touch with them. So that would be 150 a month, uh, times four. So it's 10 a week. So set up for two a day. And that'll give you that your list for that week of people to contact. Maybe you're doing, yeah, go ahead. Because in this this the call creation thing doesn't let you use hashtag. That's yeah yeah, and, and that's one of the things I'm going to call them and suggest is it, it won't pull up by the by the hashtag. That'd be the best way to do it, but I haven't seen a way to do it where you can pull up by hashtag. So it's, it pulls up generates by um, by these categories here. And I tried putting a hashtag in there and it wouldn't take it. So that's why I'm saying pick one like an archived and just put your raving fans under archived. 
or you know pick that but only have those people underneath there and then have that status as the one that pulls up your list so then it's people that that you want to make contact with it's not just throwing you a bunch of names that you're not going to do anything i'd rather have you doing something that's positive and right than to you know there's times there's much times i just ignore it because it's like there's no phone numbers or not so as people People who have phone numbers, email addresses, visit addresses, you know, you, you, you're, you're people that you will reach out to. Um, so some of my raving fans are Roger and Janine Giles. Okay, they've done three transactions and two two rentals with me, plus their business rental that they've done. So I've done, I've done a bunch of stuff right now. They're trying to help me, have me help their their her dad to find a mobile home in the area. Uh, they've got a house, his brother passed away. Um, a year ago, about a year ago, and they need to sell his house in Modesto. So they come to me for every, every, every time they need something, they send people to me. So I spent, I don't know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes on the phone with him yesterday, just having a conversation, just talking about life, talking what's going on. We talked, we started initially because, because his wife said that he was ready to go with the house, but we, him and I just, we just talk, we're, we're friends, we enjoy each other, we, we have good conversations. Um, we talk about family, we talk about, you know, he kind of shared some things, kind of his struggles with losing his brother, his brother, you know, um, passed away young. And so we, we just talked about life. And then we talked a little bit about real estate. But I have regular conversations with them just because they're, they're one, I enjoy them. We've gone to their, their daughter's plays and, and all that and junior high plays and that build relationship. So I would in here for your daily call creation, Pick one of those categories, only have your raving fans in that category, and then set it up to feed you two or three a day so you can get through your whole raving fans list within um, a two-month two -month period. And whether you're whether the first time through, you're just going through and making phone calls. Maybe your first time through is, hey, just making sure I got all the information correct in my database on this. Is this your correct email? Is this your correct phone number? Is this, you know, just things that are in the categories that are in there and talk of that. Maybe the next time you're going to do a pop by gift, you know, you come up with something simple that you're going to just drop by and, and that week you get your list and you run out with your pop by gifts and just, Hey, knock on the door. Just got this for you. Just was thinking about you and just, you know, want to let you know, I appreciate you as a friend or a neighbor, as a family member, whatever, and drop that by and do that for that two month period. Um, and then may, maybe it's the, the next one is you're doing handwritten notes. So you just, you know, it pops up those names. You write two or three or four notes a day or whatever you've got. You do a handwritten note, write it. In my case, I type it. So then, and then I sign it and then I do a little handwritten thing underneath it so they know that I was actually me that doing it um, because my writing is terrible. Um, and send out, send out cards every week or, not, or for, for two months. So there's different avenues and ways you can do it. But if you'll, you're, you're one, you're not going to do it with that person. You have no idea who they are. You're just not going to call them. You're not going to pop by, whatever. Um, two, we don't have, usually have the information that we needed for them. So let's, let's deal with the higher in the pyramid of people who are potentials to either give us business or recommend business to us. And so if you set up your daily call, create uh, daily task uh, creation, with people that are just your raving fans, people who know you, like you, and trust you, that's going to be where you want to work and focus on that, rather than this this shotgun thing. Otherwise, we just ignore it. We just let it go, and we don't do anything with it. And we need to be working those most likely opportunities. So that's uh, my uh, my thing on the the call creation um, thing because I think it's a good tool to use. We've just got to get it so it's feeding us the right people. Otherwise, we just go and eh, no phone number, no phone number, no phone number. We just then we just stop looking at it or we turn it off like Carla did, and uh, and we just ignore that. So I, I wanted to highlight that as there. Um, what are we doing? Ten twelve. Okay. Let me let me um, let me get back to. Uh, we talked about this a little bit on Monday, but I want to re. Um, uh, talk about it. So under marketing, we've got smart campaigns and maybe it's been a while since you've set things up or you don't know how to use them. But so you go to manage campaigns. So if you click on the left one, which is mine's already there, those are campaigns that you've already cloned and are use you have available for you to use. OK, 
okay? Um, if they're off, it means that they're not gonna go out. If they're on, that means that you can, you can use them. Um, KV Core Library, these are different types of campaigns. There's property boost and Facebook. So you do a property boost and you, you wanna do that. So if you click on the title, it'll show you what it is. So the first one is they get a text. So if you are, if you are online at the, or, or no, the, the, this is property boost and, um, and Facebook. So somebody responds to that within seven minutes, the system doesn't auto text back to them. Okay. And you say, well, what's it say? Well, here's what it says. It says, hi, thanks for checking out our property and our info on our website just now. Are you looking to buy, sell or now or just browse it? And then it gets, put your name in there. Okay. So it sends a simple text back. Um, and then hopefully they respond. Then uh, in 30 minutes, it's saying that it's going to give you a, a notification to call them. So it sent a text out to them. Now, if they respond back in a text, you start texting back and forth, then you may not need to do the call thing. But if it sends out, you don't get response. And then 30 minutes later, you give them a phone call. And then the, the day one, the system uh, sends out a uh, property alert and it sets up a property alert. Um, uh, or it reminds you, you can set up a property search for them. So if you can go through and based on what they looked at, you can set up a quick, simple search for them, fairly broad and let it go. They may opt out of it, but if they don't, I've, I've got people that from property boosts and open houses from two years ago in Fremont are still going on my website and looking for properties. So again, some of it's short-term quick, some of it's a long-term thing there. So, um, but I thought open house one, there, there's a great one for open house. Yes, so I'll, yeah. So again, here's the open house. Within four hours, it'll send them a text. Then day one, you send an email out. And then day two, you call the open house person. Day, so day three, so day, first week, fairly intensive. Then it goes to 10, then to 14, then to 20, then to 25. So it's nurturing that. And again, it goes out to 120 days because um, Weikert has tracked this and they know that about 75% of people who come to an open house do something in the next six to nine months in real estate. What we do is we make a phone call or we send a text or an email and we go, well, they're not interested and I'm done. And the truth is that if we just consistently do this for a period of time, we have a much better shot of doing that. So that being said, and I'm going to, I got to change my uh, email going out on Monday. So next Wednesday is um, our, for our Wednesday uh, uh, winning, winning, win, whatever, what I've called it. <laughs> My, winning, winning team, winning team was yes yes um so at 9 30 sharp we're going to have an appraiser come in and talk about how they do the appraisal process okay uh jay austin he's going to come in and do that at 10 o'clock we're going to pop on a zoom thing and um uh, one of the guys in arizona is doing it's going to be two hours long so so 10 to 12 our time but it's, he's gonna have about 50 people in the room and he's gonna have two or three other agencies online. And he's doing a, how to generate leads and how to convert leads. Who's the guy? Uh, yeah. Is it the fun one from the It is, uh, my mind just blanked. Um, what? Thank you. It is. I have been on a drip system for four years now in my house. Chris Bianco. Chris Bianco, he, he is good. Uh, so if I'm going to Arizona, so they hold these um, for, for the brokers and, and owners and managers, they hold these uh, once a year kind of train things in Arizona. I usually go the day before just so I can go hang out with Chris Bianco. He's one of these guys that does not need drugs or rock star energy drinks. He is just, he tires me out. But he, him and I, we, we, we work together and we kind of refine. And so he is, I, he is really good. But that's one of the things that desperately all of us need help on 
is how to convert the leads. So he's going to talk about that. Uh, it's going to be about a two hour presentation uh, next uh, Wednesday. So that'll be what I mean. It's going to be the first 30 minutes on the appraiser. And then we're jumping into that meeting and be a part of that. If you can't stay the whole time, that's fine. He's going to record it. But if you're in the room here and you got questions, then we can ask those as we go along. So I'm excited about that. He called me yesterday. He said, hey, if I'm if I'm doing it, because they're, they're doing it in Arizona, they're doing once a month a, a training with several of their offices all coming together and that. And he said, hey, if I'm doing this, he said, I, I got two favorite brokers that I want to be a part of that. One is Dave and one is the other. So he, they said, yeah, invite them in. So he, we got invited in to be a part of this, which I'm excited about being a part of. Is, is he a Wiker guy? Is yes. He, yeah, Wiker. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. Yeah. In, in, in Phoenix, yeah, he he does he does a phenomenal job, and he's you know, and again, a lot of the stuff he's going to talk on are things that he's done in the past, because he's he's mainly referral now because he's been in, he's built his systems up through the years, but he's been using KV Core or or this for years before Weikert came to it, and it, it built his business, so he knows what he's talking about, and he knows he knows he knows how to use it and use it effectively to build your business so that's going to be next uh, next week so but the um really i would encourage you so so say you like the open house campaign you want to do it then you hit clone campaign it'll pop it over you can name it how you want it to be named and then back on the uh campaign thing then it, on your my campaigns it'll pop it into here and it will and I put an asterisk, asterisk before it, that that's an, a copy of done. Uh, and then make sure you turn it on and then you assign it to people or anytime if an open house comes through that, that you can set up so that automatically people go to an open house, they sign in, they will start that campaign with them. So you, the, to... you can set it up, you can set it up for open house. So if you're, if you set up anytime people register from an open house, then it, you, you can set it up so that it'll it'll automatic campaign will automatically start with open house people. So you can set that up and there, there's a way to set that up in there. Um, then the other one is templates. There's templates in here. And this is where if you um, if you want to um, use templates for emails for um, uh, set up your own things, uh, this is where you change the templates in there. So if there, um, let me see. So what I've done is, um, let me go back to, so under templates, what I did is the, um, the uh, register, the, the, the thing for your survey, I templated that. So when I go to set those up, it's already templated. I just change out the picture that I wanna use. I, I've got your name, my name thing already in there. And then I just write my verbiage out for what I wanna do on there. But most of it's templated because I'm using that over and over and over again. So you can go in, change the templates, save it, and then you can use those for emails and, and different things there. So it's a really nice way to do that. Um, you can also under text, there's emails, there's texts. So you can look at the texts that are there and you can, you can edit those, clone those, and you can change the texts of how they are in there. So you don't like the verbiage for the text that maybe goes out for the first person for the for an open house, you can change that. Again, we talked about it on Monday, for those of you who are here, is that part of it is we, we, we have paralysis by analysis. We overanalyze it, we get concerned, oh, the verbiage isn't just right. And we want to something going out that's not quite right is better than nothing because you're going to someday change that and make it work so i would encourage you to use those calls it, it here's the things um uh calling so uh different different things you can you know for calls tasks um these are just things of of adding tasks into a campaign or remind you to do things and then the web hook is i'm not sure what that is so so that's where you you go through with templates saying your things you're going to email out quick emails follow-up emails you can do those there the kv core library are the campaigns and again you can see what those are um and again some of these like this default new lead uh buyer 
So it's 43 touches. Uh, first day again, fairly intensive. And then it backs off about every five days, you're doing things every 10 days. And that one goes for 720 days. So again, within our system, we have a, a concierge service and you can pay to have the concierge service work on a certain number of leads. I think you need to have a minimum of 30 thing to do it. So it'll, it'll work those leads for you. You know what they're doing? They're doing all this stuff here that's laid out for you, and but you're paying them to do that. And that may be worth it for you to spend the money to do that, but they're basically doing what's already laid out in here, and they're just doing best practices that we're not doing. So it, it, it's, it's available to you, but I would just encourage you, I don't think that any of us are so overwhelmed and hammered by our real estate business that we're doing and all the deals we have going that we don't have time to do best practices selling, including myself. So, you know, what I'm saying is that, you know, if you had, if you had, you know, five, 10 deals going right now on that, then you wanted somebody else to nurture those things for you, or it was time to build a team together that you guys are sharing that. But I don't think any of us have more than two or three things, things going on right now as it is. So, you know, let's, let's work our business. Okay, I think I got the point across without hammering too much. So um, any questions on that today? We kind of hit a wide variety of things, but I think probably the if you can set up the daily call creation to be your raving fans and keep growing that side of things and making contact with those people, that's, I mean, right now, my I, I, I talked with, was it, yeah, Carly yesterday, kind, kind of like picture, you ever sat by, um, San Francisco airport or someplace there at night and just you see the planes, their lights on as they're coming into the runway. Kind of picture your business that way, that there's the, the, all, you, you want to line up, you want to get planes lined up to land. And so right now I've got my one currently in San Jose that's in play. I've got one coming up in Discovery Bay beginning of February. I've got the one in Modesto coming up. It's, it's it, March 24th is the earliest it can go on. So, because of court stuff with that, because his brother passed away. So coming on beginning mid-April, um, I've got, um, there's another one out there. Uh, I've got the buyers that are up there. So I'm, I'm, I'm not panicked. Because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the planes are coming from all different directions and I'm working to get those planes lined up so I can land them. So if you kind of view it as there's, there's planes out there, you know, they're, they're there. It's just, are they going to land on your runway or land on somebody else's runway? So what do I need to do to get the planes to change and divert and to come and line up through the, through the next month, the next six months, the next three months, six months, the next year, so those planes start to line up. The one that we had up in Waterford, that was a year of, that plane was all over the place. I mean, it was, you know, it was all over the place for a year and it took, and it was, it was me lining up somebody to go do the work that needed to be done, driving up there going saying, hey, here's the things I recommend for us to do. I did, a, I did about a 20 minute video walking through the house of suggesting things that we should do to, to fix it, he was going through some medical things at the time himself. And so it was, a, it was a year of getting that plane rerouted to line up on there. So that's what a lot of this business is, is recognizing there's thousands and thousands of planes out there and they're flying aimlessly right now, trying to figure out what they're going to do. Our job is to pilot, yeah, yeah. yeah. To connect with the pilot and say, hey, let me help direct you to a safe landing and a good landing with what you're trying to do. So they're out there. We just have to figure out the right ways to get their, the pilot's attention, redirect them and focus them, get them to line up so we can do that. That's really kind of what we need to be 
understanding with our business. So that's why we redid the success board because I think those things you'll do those with the with your raving fans, with the vendors. I mean, I've had I've had so many calls for different vendors for different things this week, and one of the, one of those is it's going to open up some business for me because somebody needed a recommendation for things, and I know they're getting prepared to do some things. So I had somebody to recommend to them, and I can trust the person I'm recommending out there. So that's what we're trying to do is to help help all of us to find those planes, get in touch with them, and get them to line up to land. Okay. Any questions here online? No, I'm good. Other than why is it bloody cold here? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I just said I'm good. Thank you. Oh, there you go, bragging again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, thank you. So, okay, we will put a period on there, just under an hour for doing things. So. Um, have a good weekend, everybody. And